Hey guys, welcome back to my channel K4S. I want to say first of all that today's video will be very interesting so don't miss to watch till the end. The traveler has not lost a single fight since the start of the game but this is the first time he has lost against Neve. This shows that she is the most powerful enemy we have ever seen. But is she still as strong after we added her to our collected player list? So far, we have dealt with a total of 4 Fatui Harvengers excluding Dottore. Among them, the Fatalia Child, the 11th, Ere Signora, the 8th, Scaramouch, the 6th, and Arlitino at 4th place of the 11 Fatui Harvengers. Out of them, we got 3 as playable because one is already dead by the God of Eternity. In today's video, we will compare these 3 playable Fatui Harvengers to see who is the strongest DPS. I have divided this DPS showdown into 3 parts, single target, multi target and crowd control. But before starting the video, I have a question for you. Do you ever buy the walking mode to make sure you don't miss out on your favorite character? Do you ever top up? If you can save up to 20% on each of these purses you ever make. Loot bar is a highly fast and most reliable recharging platform with attractive discount. It's 100% safe cause only using UID to purchase Genesis Crystal. And I bought the $50 pack, this normally would cost me 49.99 US dollar. But as you can see, buying the exact same pack cost me only 40 US dollar, saving 9.97 US dollar. That's a huge saving and I don't think I will ever buy it directly from Genshin again. Now new users can also get an extra 5% discount, click the link in the description and pin comment to get the amazing discount. Now let's start the video. Before we move on to the main 3 segments of the video, we will compare their raw damage. Although it seems redundant to me, it's only because of audience demand that this part should be placed at the beginning of the DPS showdown. And as always, the character build up is at the very end of the video. From what I have seen in Genshin community, Child has garnered more haters than fans due to the difficulty of his playstyle. Yet is an all-time favorite DPS for those who have once mastered his playstyle. I used his melee ultimate here and then continue with a combo of two normal attacks and a charge attack. And I used Rust in Child only in terms of raw damage. His raw damage performance isn't bad at all. Wanderer's playstyle is very simple and since he is an enemy DPS, his raw damage is very impressive. Here I active his elemental skill first, then do a charge attack, then continue with normal attacks. In Arlequino's case, I was already carrying some of her bond of life and activated Arlequino's skill before broke for this one's shield so that she wouldn't have any shortage of raw damage. And no doubt she has given a great performance. Now enjoy the rest of the video for yourselves, I won't bother you with any more talk. And one more thing, let me know in the comment section if you have any difficulty in understanding my words. It is very important for me to know. Witness my Go 
This whole showdown is pure F2P. I try to maximize the character buildup according to my collection of artifacts. Although Arlequino lags behind everyone in terms of talent level. And here are the results based on my character build, playstyle and team comp. Let me know in the comments which of these characters you have and what their buildup is like and which team you use them on. We will meet again in the next video till then goodbye and take care. Peace out.